So now let's see how we can work around with inserting of mermaid diagrams inside of diagrams.net. So to do that, you need to go around onto the arrange menu. And once you go around over there, you can go to insert and then you can go around onto advanced and then select mermaid from over here. So once you do that here, you can see that an example code is given where A is linked with B and C and B and C is linked with D right here. If I were to click on insert, it is inserted out right here. So let me just go around over here and add in another code. Let's say, for example, I'm going to go around onto Mermaid and let's say I want to link out the A right here. I'm just going to copy out the code and link it with D as well and click on insert. And you can see that now you got another link diagram as well. So if there's any process that needs uh, linking out in different steps, you can use the Mermaid diagram. And that is what we are exactly going to do right here. So I'm just going to go around and remove out the code right here and copy this out right here uh, for sample. So I'm just going to go around, replace the A with, let's say, plan right here. So let's say what I'm doing is I'm planning for uh, a concept of a film right here. So I'm just going to go around and select plan, uh, type in plan right there. From plan, let's say the next step is um, budget right here. So the plan should be based on budget right here. And then plans uh, should be related. I'm just going to copy that out and then paste this out right here. And plan will be related to, let's say, for example, discussion as well. So let's say I'm going to have discussion with my team or so forth right here. So once that is done, I'm going to go around onto plan. So there's budget discussion. And let's say another part is going to be storyline right here. So let's say, for example, or maybe concept right here. So let's say now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and then relate out the budget that I have right here. So I'm just going to go around under budget and from budget, I'm going to go around over here onto a uh, story line right here, just like this. So budget, budget is going to be related to storyline. So that is what I want right here from budget to storyline. And then I'm going to add in discussion to storyline as well. And after that, I'm going to go around over here and select out concept and go from concept to storyline as well. So once I do that, I'm going to select out the plan right here and then paste this out. And then I'm going to go around, select storyline from plan to storyline as well. And let's say from the storyline right here again, I want to go around over here uh, and then um, I'll just type that in right here. Uh, that's that's greater than sign. And then this is going to be, let's say, for example, script right here, just like this. And from script, let's say it's going to go around into storyboard right here. So I'm just going to go around over here. And then this is going to be storyboard right here. And let's say uh, uh, from storyboard, let's say, for example, if there's any kind of correction needed, it's going to go back to plan right here. So you can see that all of the possible linking scenarios has been added in. And now if I were to click on insert, then what happens is that you can see that a diagram is uh, created on the basis of the possible link. Like from plan, you can see that it's uh, going out to budget, discussion, and concept right here. And storyline, which is related with the plan, concept, discussion, and budget. And from storyline, it goes to strip, then storyboard, and then it has a possibility to go back to plan right here. And that is what you have, as you can see right here. And you can go around right here, fill it. You can add in a border right here. You can go around, make it look like a sketch. But everything in between, as you can see right here, is generated right here. You can add in the border and keep the outline as a sketch and so forth. But this is what you have, as you can see. And that is how you can go around and create out a mermaid diagram easily inside of diagrams.net. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs>